World Youth Day kicked off in Lisbon, Portugal, August 1st, with thousands of pilgrims pouring into the city from all over the world. Traveling often in parish groups, they sang songs, played instruments, and waved flags as they explored the city in the morning and trekked to the opening mass in the afternoon. Going and meeting so many like different Catholic people is like, it just is so like inspiring and like it's it just makes you like feel so good about being Catholic and like you know that the whole church is like one body and like we're all here together. I think it's amazing how God moves mountains, how God loves us all and how all the youth moves and, and is happy and, and is powerful like it's all because of him. U.S. bishops also had a special tour of the historic center of Lisbon in the morning. They said they were struck by the enthusiasm of the young crowds. We're, we're walking a bunch of bishops, we're just we're walking up the street and uh, people I immediately recognize our, our cross, our, our crosses, our pectoral crosses, I guess our rings, whatever, and know we're bishops and just say, hey bishops. So just the excitement of uh, just that making that connection. And you know, that's, the, that's the beauty of Catholicism, the universality of our faith, no matter what language, no matter what culture, what ethnicity, that, that we, we celebrate with this one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And it really brings that to life in such a, such a, a, a down-to-earth way. Whether we speak the same language or not, it's, we're speaking heart-to-heart. We're, we're speaking heart to heart. The World Youth Day was only getting started. Hopes were high that the event would have a lasting impact. World Youth Day is an opportunity for us to experience the bringing together, the, the communion between that breadth of uh, potential that's in our lives as young people and the depth of our faith that it offers to us in, in the richness of the Catholic faith in its scripture and tradition and all that uh, is, it gives to us, that we can bring those together. And at the center, of course, in this image of the cross is the heart of our Lord. And so we're already drawing closer to him, helps us to really bring those aspects of life together in our own experience and get the most out of this kind of uh, gathering experience uh, of youth from all, all over the world. You know, and the theme here, rise up and go in haste, the Marian theme. And hopefully these young people realize that the, the extraordinary mission they have through their baptismal call to go forth in haste to to bear of Christ in their you know the, the body the word of Christ the word of God the the Eucharist to, to bear Christ that, that from that encounter to be set on fire and to trust and embrace it and go forth to, to spread that good news so that that fire that that enthusiasm that that encounter spreads to other people. I have 72 young people uh, from my parish assignment, and it's a great to have them here. Uh, our bishop is with us, Archbishop Charles Thompson, which is really also powerful as well, because since his being in our diocese, he's confirmed all these young people that are here. So he's the one who's given them the sacrament of confirmation. And then, for, so for us to be with our bishop, and then to, to come to World Youth Day is a confirmation in our faith. It's not a sacrament, but to be here with all these millions of people and to gather around the altar of the Lord and to pray in adoration and to receive catechesis, that's a powerful way to be confirmed in your faith. And so I just think World Youth Day works. You bring people here, you allow the Holy Spirit to act in their lives, you allow the saints to pray for them and you let them to be with other saints and their future brothers and sisters. It changes the world.